Hey guys, kamusta? Hope everyone is doing well. Um, today is going to be a very chill video. I asked you guys to shoot me some questions in Instagram and Facebook and I hope to be able to answer all of them today. So let's just get right on with it. Mm -hmm. I will not be exposing your names because some prefer confidentiality. So for the sake of that, I'll just cut the name portion of the question. So we'll start with question numero uno. So it says, something chill lang. What's your favorite color? Haha. <laughs> well, actually my favorite color back in high school was violet or shades of violet. But I guess as you grow older, whoa, older. <laughs> No. Um, well, as you mature, um, you learn to not just be limited to certain colors. I don't know. That's just me. Um, I still love violet, but however, it depends now on the thing now. Like for example, for school supplies, I'd rather have like the shades of green, the dark green, the moss green, and I feel like that's got something to do with my course, the nutrition and dietetics. That's why I've learned to love the color green. Um, for computer or gadget stuff, I prefer black and blue na combination. And for clothes, I prefer earth tones and grays. So there's that. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. It says, biggest insecurity? Question mark. I get insecure when I do have something to say, but kanang nakatry mo na it's already in your head. The idea is already there, but you can't really convey it well. So. I think that's something that I can work on and yeah I do get insecure about it at times but I always tell myself that that could be something that could be learned eventually okay next question in a man guys um, it says my question is why uh, my answer also is a question girl why do you ask me that hmm 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 so move on to guys kay mura galibog sa ko a question that so, <laughs> so next one is it says why are you so pretty thank you um it's because my mama is pretty diba me yeah, don't be so big. a beauty related question. Wow, mug makeup guru the boy. It says, on time on blush on sis. <laughs> I don't know why I can't say that without an accent or a weird tone. Sis. So far, I only use two types of blushes, and they're from local brands. Uh, one of it is from Vice Cosmetics, it's their water gel lip and cheek tint. In the shade chose. I'm going to show focus. And then the next one is from the Love Me More collection by For You Too. Uh, it's a cream blush in the shade C3. You are my 24/7. So I like using this one for day-to-day -day ng mga occasions because it's natural lang. It's like a cream, cream peach kind of color. So yun. This is what I have on right now. And then, depende lang sa mood. Kung ganang kung more pinkier shade, it's the choice. So, that's it. Sige, the next one, it says, Dili ni question, but love you and miss you, bestie. Kissy face. Uh, I miss you too. Uh, since di man sa ni question, no? So, shout out na lang ka Desmary, my best friend in Dipolog. I hope magkita nata soon, but take care. Question number, I don't know anymore, <laughs> but let's just move on with it. Uh, it asks, Nga nung nag ka? Well, this is a bit of a long story, but for some of you that don't know, I come from a family of either um, doctors or medical professionals, uh, engineers or bakers and entrepreneurs. Growing up, or even before I was born actually, my parents decided to venture into the pastry and bakery scene. That's all I knew growing up. I helped my parents with decorating cakes, um, pastry art, and the sort. So food was really my passion earlier on in life. 
that's all I knew actually. I took up HRM in college, but then plans changed. I only took up a year and then I decided to shift. Um, that's another story, but yeah, I shifted to ND because one of my good friends, also from Depolog, she just came back because she graduated from Nutrition and Dietetics from Silaman University. So I asked her about it because it's kind of a new thing. I've never really heard about it. And then I got interested because I already knew that I had an interest in the sciences, but I didn't really want to become a doctor or a nurse. It just wasn't for me. I couldn't imagine myself doing that job. But when she said nutrition and dietetics and she told me about how it relates to food and the science behind it, it made me interested because it felt like it was really a course for me. Um, so that's why, that's why I, I really wanted to know about it because I didn't want to just cook food and simply serve food. I wanted to be able to find out the components of food, how it is digested in our body, how it is utilized, and the components, niya, macros and micros. So that's it. That's why I'm in ND right now. And for those that would want to enroll in ND or is interested about ND, I encourage you to do your research about it. And if you like it, mm, see you next time. Okay, so this next question is kind of related to the last one also. Uh, it says, Kani, to help with the intro, why did you choose to post on YouTube? You're welcome. Love, love. Wink. I can't wink, guys. Anyways, <laughs> just put an emoji here. <laughs> one of my major subjects, which is nutritional assessment, required us to do an audio-video presentation on the different types of assessment, which is from anthropometrics to functional. So it's A to F. Oh, by the way, if you are an ND student na you're enrolled in NAS or soon will enroll in NAS, maybe that video can help you. And I'll just link it in the description below. Wow! <laughs> YouTuber lang ang peg. Shameless plug. Anyways, back to the question. Wala na ko. Um, what was the question? Okay, why did I post in YouTube? Uh, simply just that because I had the video ready. Um, I figured nga might as well put it out there It might not be the perfect or best na nutritional assessment video out there the kanyang kulang or whatever But I hope that in any way I could be able to help my lower years na uh, ND students or future enrollees nga they can also refer to this and be able to get ideas but still I encourage um, them to do their own research and add up kasi I feel like napadutoy ko lang. So, yun lang. And then, I post just anything actually. It's not just limited to nutrition and dietetics videos. So, I plan to pop in here and there but it's not really going to be a very, um, what's the word? It's not gonna be a very consistent thing because editing just really takes so much of my time even if it's so simple. Maybe it's because I'm so new to it pa. But yeah, just check me out every now and then. I'll post just random stuff. <laughs> oh, another school related question. It asks, how do you cram for back to back tests 20 days away? First of all, I want to apologize because this video is uploaded super late and you've probably already taken the test by now. So, come in aside. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but uh, sorry. Anyways, I'll still answer it. Though. I must admit, I'm not really the best in terms of study habits. That's uh, something I'm also working on to this day. But what I suggest is to really set a schedule day to day. Treat every day as if you are in school. That you have a schedule, you have to follow it. And you have to set reminders, including when you wake up, when you have your meals. You set that. But it's also very important that you have your family involved. If you're living with a family, you have to have your family involved in your planning for your schedule so it doesn't interfere with the chores that you have to do. You can coordinate with your parent, with your mom, on what days you're supposed to do certain chores. That way you can avoid distractions that are unnecessary. So that way you can also be responsible at home and help around. I guess that's pretty much it. 
Oh wait, no. Aside from setting a schedule, you also have to set a designated place to where you're gonna study or do your work. I remember my life group leader told me that it's very important to really designate spots. So for example, if you're gonna designate this spot in that certain time for studying, it should all just have your study material, your books, your pens, your notebooks, and just that. Don't put any distractions in the area where you want to study. So that will help you be more disciplined in what you have to do or what you have to accomplish. And um, I hope that helped. <laughs> and may your future studies be more fruitful. You can do it. The next question is also in line with the previous one. It says, Ate, on say mong advice for the next school year? And honestly, I don't have a very concrete answer to that because all of us are very unsure with the situation right now with COVID-19. I guess my advice from the previous question would also apply to this since we'll be doing online classes. Discipline really is key and it's kind of difficult but if we do exercise habits then habits become normal and natural for us to do. So there's that. Just be disciplined with your tasks and submit all that you need to submit on time. Do not be lazy. Uh, it's okay to nap, but don't nap too long. Okay, baka maabta ng gabi. And then also, try to sleep in normal hours. Because I know, ako personally, my sleep schedule has been super ruined ever since the community quarantine began. So, I need to fix that also. <laughs> to sleep in kanang earlier times and wake up earlier. So, yun. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. Uh, it asks, Seriously, have you ever failed a test in your life? And advice for those who always do. Please and thank you. Yes, guys, to be honest, completely honest, I've failed a bunch of tests. Did I want to? No, obviously, who wants to fail? But it happens, you know, and what's important is we rise above the situation, learn from our mistakes, even ask our instructors, asa tanag kamali? That's very important. You could also ask your classmates so you can know the right answers and you can avoid it next time you take a test. But most importantly, I wanna stress this out. We are in school really to learn. And although this is how the school grades, I truly believe that knowledge is not only measured by what you get in test scores. It is what you develop in yourself and what you learn by heart. Because by the end of the day, dili mang good test paper ang ato ipakita inig mo apply na taog trabaho. Dili man kanang oh sir mo siya ako ang score ani akong biochem ani nga year chu chu whatever. No, it's what you practically apply within yourself and what you learn. Truly learn. Nga kanabitong it will really stick in your mind. Kasi sometimes so good. Um, I'm also guilty of this. Nga we study something, and then bragigo na natin yung memorize. Pagkahuman sa test, bang, wala na. <laughs> and unsa may pulos ana? Yes, tinoon na ka correct answer ko sa test. Pero ni absorb ba jud? So kana can we really use it in the future? So that's one thing we have to be careful for. And then for avoiding failure, uh, what I can suggest really is to just study harder. Ayo ka discourage. Just really do your best. Make that a challenge. Kahala sigi, I'll do better next time. And then find really a good study group. Kanang study group nga who really pushes you to. Nga magtuon jud bitaw. Dili kay puro ra mag chika chika lang. I mean, okay ra jud ang mag chika, guys. But like if it takes more than half of your time of actually studying, then you probably need to find another study group or change the dynamic linyo in that group. Uh, and then also lastly is to figure out what type of learner you are. Kasi depa there are I think four types. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, four types of learners. There are the visual ones, the uh, auditory ones, hearing. Um, there's also kinesthetic, the ones that learn by doing it by hand. And then there's a reading and writing type of learner. Ako personally, I think I am a writing type as well as an auditory type. So that's why sometimes I prefer uh, listening to audiobooks better than reading. And that's why also I like 
uh, whenever I do read, I like taking down notes to summarize because they say nga, parang if you write daw, I, I'm not sure about this, ha, but they say if you write, it's like you're repeating it in your head seven times. So yeah, find your method of learning, which one is more effective for you. Experiment. There are so many resources online that you could take a hold of, especially Karun. There are many podcasts, there's uh, YouTube, and then there are other things, but there are PDFs around, so just utilize it then. The next question is a bit serious. You know who you are. Thank you for um, giving me the trust. Nga hopefully, I can be able to give you some advice regarding it. So, the question to ask is, I don't know why I'm sad all the time and it sucks and I'm tired of feeling this way. Am I doomed to feel like this? First of all, I'd want to say that no, you are not doomed to feel that way, okay? Trials do come, there are happy days and sad days and sometimes consequences from our own actions or the actions of others affect us greatly. There really is no life that is without trials, however, it does not mean that you are out of control to change that, you know. Um, I experienced the same thing also. Sa April, katung bago pa ang community quarantine, I really felt like I was depressed because I didn't know what to do. I wasn't motivated to do anything. I felt sad for no reason. So that's why parang makarelate yung ko when you say nga, you're always feeling sad. So I guess the practical advice that I could give you is to really reach out to a support group. Friends that you know will be able to give you advice about real life things. And friends that will give you a good influence and will lead you to the right direction. If you have your mentor, you can also talk to your mentor. Reach out. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid nga hala, parang i-judge ko niya. Because remember, God had all the right to judge humanity for its sin, but not once did he do it. So, you know, reach out. Reach out to those leaders, to those mentors that you have, to your close friends or family. Because I, I bet na they're really just waiting for you to talk to them. Just continue to reach out to God in these times because I do believe that the enemy is really working double time into ruining us through our thoughts because, you know, people are just at home, people are bored, so we have to strengthen our minds as well as our spiritual life with just really connecting to God more. Reading more of God's word really helps. I know it really helped me get through these past few months. So, you and I'm praying for you. I truly am, and as well as your family. So, thank you for asking me that question. And I hope this helped. A good friend of mine told me this one time, and I never forgot about it. It's failure isn't when you fall down, it's when you don't get back up. And for my favorite verse, I think this is obvious to some who really know me, it's Jeremiah 29, 13, and it says, You will seek me and you will find me if you seek me with all of your heart. And that's kind of the inspiration to why my Instagram and my blog is Seeking and Sought. So, shameless plug! <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Instagram, Seeking and Sought, and then I also have a blog. At seekingandsought.tumblr.com <laughs> So it's a pretty old blog but there are still some good um, writings in there so maybe you'd want to read it. Okay, for something Muay Thai related. I like it. <laughs> so it asks, why Muay Thai? Thinking face. The reason why I stuck with Muay Thai is because I do want to be physically active as much as I can. Um, at first, I started just running, but I got bored, so I thought of something else. And then eventually, I started uh, boxing. A friend referred boxing to me, and I really loved it because you would really push to your limits in a way, and you'll be challenged because one-on-one, -on -one, eh, you have a coach who do the mitts for you. I wanted to venture to something that had kicking. I thought nga parang it's more in line man ang Muay Thai sa boxing. So I took that opportunity. I looked around in my area and then I found a really good gym. Shout out to my <laughs> JB Dream Fitness family as well as my Rex Waki Salud family. 
So I also have a question regarding self-defense. <laughs> it asks, self-defense tips for girls against bad guys. So, um, I'm not really a pro when it comes to self-defense, but I'll give them practical tips lang from what I've learned said from my coaches. Um, first, Jod, is to avoid a situation that is risky for you. Take precaution. Oh, my dad would tell me, always have eyes behind your back or something like that. Always be observant in your surroundings. And then what my Lola would do also is she would have me bring a safety whistle. So if ever you're in a situation that is risky, you can just blow that and have it handy. Also, what my coach told me, if you do need to fight, um, realistically, for the general population of women, it's not really advised that you have to fight back a man because, you know, in just a physical sense, men are just really stronger um, in general. So, if you do need to fight back against a man, it's for you to get away and to run. So, to run and then ask for help. Ayun, K drama na naman. So, someone asked, what's your top five K drama? Um, this is a tough one. I've watched so many na bitaw. So, medyo liso siya limit to five. But, in no particular order, I can't really pick one above another. Um, Weightlifting Fairy, Kim Bok Chu. Uh, Descendants of the Sun. The recent one is Hospital Playlist. I really like the characters and their friendship. It's so cute. And um, the fourth one, wait, let me think. Ah, oh, Doctor Stranger. And then, what else? Uh, Dream High. I really like Dream High 1 and 2, but especially Dream High 1. It's very music related. And then, if I can add, it's uh, Shout Out Flower Boy Band. Another friend asks, your fave top 5 Netflix series. So, um, I don't really watch mga Netflix original series, but if you can refer some to me, that would be great. Second to the last question asks, what is the most difficult part about being in a long distance relationship? So as most of you know, I am in one. My boyfriend is in the US while I'm here in the Philippines. And probably the most challenging part about it would be saying goodbye. It always is the saddest part and whenever he visits and we'd have to say goodbye and we won't see each other for another year or so so there's that and thankfully wala din namang problem in terms of trust or whatever issues like that so i'm thankful for that last but not the least naka again naka og heartbreak char okay ra pod og dili ka mo tubag ani <laughs> well tubagon jud nako ni so it might not seem like it, but yes, I have gone through a couple heartbreaks. Did I regret it? Yes and no. For that, I mean, who would want to go through such pain? However, the beauty about heartbreaks is if we give God all the broken pieces to our heart, He will gather it, bind it together, make it new, and allow us to continue to live life with a fresh start, with a fresh heart. Keep on ko sa tanang questions. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who asked me all these questions. Kasi nalikaw sa gog answer and it really made me think also. I hope you enjoyed this video and then see you when I see you. Bye!